one, two, one, two, three, four. Hemiola. <laughs> what am I talking about? Welcome to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. Today, we're looking at this idea of a hemiola, which is a formal term. A hemiola is when you take either a group of four and you phrase it in threes, or you take a group of threes that are usually a triplet feel and you phrase them in groups of four and thereby have a sort of polymetric effect or syncopated effect. Now I'm gonna play what I just played. I'm gonna play it again. You get the overhead view and count with me or just listen while I count this. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in a second, but I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna count. But listen to the effect, all right? So we've got one E and a two E and a da -di -di -da -di -di -di, right? So I'm gonna play the bongos. I'm playing a figure. One and two and one, two and three, four, one and two, three, four and one, two, three and four, one, two and three, one and two, three, four, one and two, three and four, one, two and three, four, one and two, three, four and one, two, three and four, one. All right, so you hear da 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 da, but then we're phrasing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, over that. So how are we getting there? Pretty simple. We're just playing um bop beep beep 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 bop beep. So we're taking the eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. <laughs> and we're phrasing them bop dee 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 dot dee dee dot dee dee dot dee dee. We're breaking those up into three, groups of three. And then on top of that, I'm phrasing the sound in threes. So we've got not, not only the short three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, but I'm also playing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it implies another larger triplet on top of this whole um, four, four pattern. And I wanna do it again. Now this time, I want you to listen carefully to the beginning of those, each one of those bigger threes. So the one, ba, ba, the high drum. Where is that falling? And it's interesting because every time I play this cycle, it's an and later. Like the first time it's on one, second time it starts on the and of one, and then two, and then the and of two, and then so forth until we get back to one. So I'm gonna play it and count again. Your job is to just follow along, but pay attention to the counting part, all right? I'll go a little bit slower. One and two and ready go. One and two and three and four and 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 two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I messed up that part. Let me start over. I'm trying to figure out where to breathe. One, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Woo! All right. Thanks for being patient, you guys, and giving me another chance. I appreciate that. Um, this is kind of a live video. You notice I've been doing a lot of my videos with no edits. Nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs> How many people on YouTube are doing videos with no cuts these days? You know, I might be the only one, you guys. So there you go. All right. So isn't that cool? I want to do it again in a minute, as long as I can breathe deeply enough to do it without taking a breath. I don't want to stop counting because uh, if I stop counting, I, I don't find my place back into the count. It's a little tricky, but that's what's cool about it. I'm going to do it again, and uh, wish me luck. Uh, but I, again, I want you to pay attention to the counting. And notice, every time we hit the high drum, it's an eighth note later. All right, so this is a cool cycle. You can use this in soloing. You could use it as a pattern in and of itself, like in a larger groove. It's pretty cool. Uh, you could change up the pitches, change up the sounds, change the instruments, you know, change everything. But I wanted to just share this idea with you, the hemiola type thing as a concept so you, so you get that vocabulary. 
and you just kind of have something to work on that's fun, you know, and interesting and challenging. All right, let's do it again. I'll try to slow it down a little. I might run out of air. All right. Uh, one e and a two e and a three and here we go. One e and a two e and a three and a three and a one and two and three and four and 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 one. Whoo! All right. So again. We got that, and then we're phrasing it. All right, so it, it's it's pretty fun, you guys. Um, why does it switch in eighth note, uh, in eighth note later? Because this pattern, one, e, two, e, two, e, two, e, two, e, two, e, two, is nine eighth notes, right? So if you put nine, a nine eighth note pattern into an eighth note pattern, into an eight eighth note pattern, which is one measure, right? One and two and three and four and is eight, but ba 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 is nine, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's where the extra eighth note comes in. That's why every time we do the, the nine, it's an eighth note later because we're in four, four. Well, I'm in four, four. I don't know where you, where you are. <laughs> when you get into four, four, you can meet me there. All right. And then we'll do this. All right. You guys, I want to know what you think about this. Uh, it's, yeah, I think it's kind of fun. I mean, it doesn't really have any specific cultural context. It's just something you can add to your drumming repertoire or any instrument, you know, you guys can do this on anything. You don't have to be, you know, in the elite class of percussionist to do this. It's for lay musicians as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. You can connect with me more at patreon.com slash Kalani. Hit the, hit the, uh, I almost said hit the smash button, but it's smash the like button, hit the bell, subscribe, and uh, go out and make some great music. Thanks for watching.